how did that how did that feel guys hearing that again was it was it good for you too baby hearing that playstation one oh yeah when you hear that you just want a nut oh man you guys we are playing a game that I have played many times, but I've never beaten. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Grinch. He's got like a little series to him. He's got like, I want to say two more games. Uh, two more of the games. On Game Boy, I think, yeah. But anyway, this, oh my god. And the music, oh, it's so great. Just listen to the music for a while. Let's just chill out for a minute. Now, this game is not going to be for everybody because it's kind of a, it's a collect-a-thon kind of game. And it's not really all too exciting to watch. You kind of, that's what I said. This game is just not gonna be for everybody. Um, hang on, I like this part in this, this song. I love that part. I love it so much. Uh, well, yeah, and like I said, this game is not going to be for everybody because it's not all that too exciting to watch. It's not all that thrilling, like a uh, action game or something like that. It's kind of kind of slow place, you know. And you you'll see what I mean when we start the when we start the game, which is right now. But this game is funny. I love this game so much. <laughs> I got it! I have a great idea. This year, the Who's will, will pay. pay! I'm sorry, I had to do it. Here they are, my precious gadget blueprints. Blue. All my inventions, Blue. my contraptions, <laughs> my Machiavellian <laughs> machines. <laughs> That, in fact, is the misanthrope scheme. Build gadgets from blueprints. Halt the holiday theme. What gadget should I build first? The Grinch Copter? With this, I can fly over the despicable Who's. Maybe the octopus climbing device to scale the walls? Mm, no, no, no. The rocket spring to perform magnificent jumps. Or better yet, one of my most treasured weapons, the rotten egg launcher to stink out my enemies, or the slime gun to just stick, stick it, it to them. them. My marine mobile. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. I know. Yes, this. I'm sorry. I just can't help myself. Maybe that just goes to show you how how much I've played this game. How many times I've seen this intro. No! No! My plans! My precious plans! I'll never be able to build my gadgets! But will this debacle make the Grinch stop and quit? Of course not. He growls and pledges. I'll stick with it. You know what matters. Nothing's gonna stop us this year. I'll recover my plans piece by piece. And I swear to ruin the party for everyone. Even if I have to roam all over Hooland. So let's begin with the worst part. Whoville! I have more than one crafty way to upset those irksome hoos. Okay, Max, we're ready. Let's creep down to Whoville. Let the May begin! All right. Actually, let me turn the fan off because I feel like you guys might be able to pick up some of that wind. And wow, I hate that. Hey, well, you know what? While I turn the fan off, that's just going to take like a few seconds. Listen to the music. You know what? Instead of turning it off, why don't I 
I just put it on low. That way, that way I can get a little bit of air because it's hot. It is hot and it's not even summertime yet. It's not even summertime yet, guys. This is already this hot. But it is hot. Like, I'm sweating, sweating. I felt like someone just threw a bucket of water on me and just sweat. Whew, that's why I had the fan on. Ceiling fan I'm talking about. I got my big fan. I had that on. I had to turn that off. I was like, you know, we got to record. I don't have a mic. It's going to block out background noise. I need to get the hat. I'm going to block out the background noise so I can have my fan on. Because it is hot in Topeka. Woo! Oh, man. I kind of wish I was on this mountain right now, man. I'll check this out. Straight from the movie. The Jim Carrey movie, which was an awesome movie. I hate who's. I hate Christmas. My heart is like, like a, a peak. <laughs> One more time. Let's take it from the top. I hate who's. I hate who's. I hate Christmas. Actually, I kind of love Christmas. I think it's my favorite holiday of the uh, uh, the year. My heart is like a peak. My heart is like a peak. All right, now that we got our little exercise out the way. <laughs> oh, look at Max. Go, Max. You can play as Max in this game, too. Darn! I forgot my keys. There should be a spare one in one of these boxes. The Box. Grinch likes to break things with his robust behind. He'll flatten and smush to get out of a bind. The spoon is one that he completely controls. Big old He'll booty. pancake anything to attain all his goals. Y'all like this green booty? Come on. Someone come grab it. Oh. No matter what it is, hang on, how many boxes left? No matter what box you squish, the key will always be in the last one. And I can prove it too. So, I'm gonna hit this box. Okay? These are the last two boxes now. I'm gonna save state. Not in that one. It's in this one. This time I hit this box, since it was in that one. See? Look at that. Look at it! Ah! Magic. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Love, I love the... <laughs> I just love this game so much. I really love this game, guys. If you are... If you played this game before, then you're The strength treat. of the Grinch is a legend in Whoville. To There's re nothing it. he can't move with Grinch muscle and will. If you guys have not seen this game, you still are in a treat because this game is awesome. I love this game a lot. A lot of people say this is like a like a bad game. I don't I don't see it as a bad game. I don't see it I don't see how. It's just a collector done game. Hey Max! Listen to me, boy. There's another spare key in the next room. Go get it! Max the Brown Dog is the mean one's right-hand mate. He obeys Grinchy orders, does not question his fate. This pup boldly <laughs> ventures where the green one cannot. He approaches who strangers explores a small spot. <laughs> uh, yeah, like I was saying, people say that this is a, one of the bad ones. I don't see it as a bad game. To me, I actually think this game is pretty good and I think it's very clever. It is a very clever game. Whether you think it's bad or not, you have to admit that this game do have some clever puzzles. Um. Uh, Thanks. You're yep. bad boy. I was gonna re-quote it, but I was like, no, I need to shut up. And let people hear it. I can't just keep on recording everything. They're not gonna hear the voices. 
To access the next room, please identify yourself with the breath analyzer. An anti-who tool for which no blueprints exist is the smelly Grinch breath which cannot be missed. It appears in the shape of a rancid green cloud <coughs> and can be used any time it's always allowed. This fog reveals <laughs> things the naked eye can't see. Also, its rank odor weakens the enemy. This is actually a very important tool. So the Grinch, he can do a couple of things. So he can like do this, that's his ground pound. He can, uh, oh, I can't do it right now because we, all right. I guess we'll wait till later, but he, everything that the Grinch can do, um, the game utilizes his movements in the game. So, you know, most games, they give you a couple stuff that your character can do, but they'll never, it's only like a one-time thing and it never really comes up again. No, for the Grinch, everything that he can do, you'll be using for other levels. Uh, they help you solve puzzles and stuff like that. So it's never like this one, one thing for this one specific puzzle or something like that, and then you'll never see it again. No, you'll be using it a lot. And the thing about this game, the, why, the reason why I say it's clever, is because a lot of this stuff you'll forget and be like, oh yeah, I could do that. And then you'll be like, okay, now how do I do this? And you gotta try and think about what to do with the gadgets you got. So anyway, you'll see what I mean as we go along. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> You're definitely the Grinch. <laughs> You can pass. I've always played this game on my, uh, my... Press the action button to cause Grinchy effects. This guarantees he will be a pain in who next. I've always played this game like on my hacked Switch and, uh, my place, my... At the heart of the Heartless One's cave is his pride, a master <laughs> computer with Grinchy smarts inside. After I collect the plans that have blown away, I'll feed them to my processor, and there they'll stay. It will build my gadgets with just a click of its gears. This is gonna be the main focus of the game. Finding your blueprint so you, that you can, <clears throat> excuse me, finding your blueprint so that you can bring them back here, put them together, and get the gadgets. You're going to need the gadgets, most definitely. Like I said, this is a, like, well, I said it's a collectathon. Not really. It's more, I mean, well, yeah, it is, but there's a lot more to it. And there's, like, these puzzles scattered everywhere, and you'll need the gadgets to complete some of these puzzles. Um, actually, here, here are the levels. So, if you ever seen the movie, you know that the Grinch uses like some kind of, <laughs> some kind of. The Grinch has invented a vast vacuum system. Through its miles of tubes, he can get to the Who's who he feels have so dissed him. As we <laughs> begin, just the path to Whoville is clear. But as the scheme falls in place, more roots will appear. There's also a door up here. To open these super doors, he must do something first. Break all kinds of presents, make the packages burst. Once he's passed through this threshold, he'll be in a space filled with crazy games. It's a delirious place. I'm excited. It's way down in Whoville that all Who folk reside. Ooh. They're hugging and kissing the mean Grinch can't abide. Kind heartedness and joy fill their Hootopia. Honor and love fill the Who cornucopia. The Grinch must steer clear of their touch of affection. Avoiding all contact will be sheer perfection. But as he evades all their touching and feeling, the Grinch also plays pranks such as Christmas gift stealing.
God, I love the music in this game. I love the music. Oh my God. It, if the it just it fits the tone so well, just so good. Okay, now each level, uh, we have to do these missions. They're basically just pranks and stuff that you have to do. Uh, stuffing, shuffling the mail, smashing snowman, painting the mayor's posters, all this stuff we have to do. Launching eggs into houses, modifying the mayor's statue, advance the countdown to Xmas clock, uh, squashing all gifts. Um, now. You can't really do all this stuff. Um, eventually, you you'll have to do enough for the next level to open up. The reason you, the reason why you can't do all this stuff in one go is because you'll need the gadgets to uh, do some of the stuff. These little icons at the bottom; these are the tools and stuff that you will find in this level, um, and they'll only be used in this level. And uh, they're just tools that you'll need to use. Uh, to help you get past these puzzles and do the objectives. And that's all. That's why I said it's kind of like a little collectathon, I guess. I don't really know what you what else you'll call it. Uh, <laughs> Who grown-ups and children alike fear the Grinch, but they hope that through hugs he may change just an inch. The mean one must test different ways to evade all the who hugs and friendly advances they've made. <laughs> Did I mention I love this game? I didn't. Okay, I love this game. <laughs> I do. I love it a lot. There's a lot of things that can hurt you. Now this is where your breath can come in. It. You can use your breath. Your breath stinks so bad. That is used as a weapon to knock people out. Ouch! Now, if you're new to this game and never played the game before, you will forget that a lot. Uh, because it's going to be like strong enemies in a game. And you'll think, you'll think, okay, how do I defeat that thing? And like, you'll do everything you can to try and, you know, defeat it. But the only, it, it, nothing will work. And you'll be like, how do I, I'm supposed to defeat it? You're supposed to blow your breath on it. And it's just like your breath stinks so bad that it's able to knock out a boss or something like that. The mission book outlines the Grinch's to-do list. Using this, the mean one knows there's nothing that he's missed. One important task is breaking holiday gifts. Just thinking of this deed, the Grinch spirit lifts. <laughs> I love how they always remind me. I love it, man. This just this game just makes me smile. I'm so, I am so the opposite of the Grinch. I love Christmas. Like, I, that is, oh my god. Just getting into the season. Hey! Who are you? Big Daddy? <laughs> this is what he's doing. He's supposed to be. Hey! Who are you? Big Daddy? He's actually hurting me, see? I'm gonna show you what happened when you get a game over. Ouch! It's unbearable! Okay, so that's what happens. There's no, like, real game over other than that. I mean, you know, you'll just, that's how you die in the game. Um, and you'll just get put back. The level don't restart. The presence, everything you've done will still be done. You know, it, nothing gets reset. You'll just get put back at the beginning of the level. So it's a pretty easy game, pretty simple. And actually, I think you can... Who are you? He might be too short. Big Daddy. Nah, he's yeah, he's too short. Who are you? Big Daddy. Okay. Yeah, so uh The Grinch just discovered a oh. small rotten egg. Take it, all mean one, whether you steal or beg. This vile, fragile item's your most useful tool. You plop it in Grinch gadgets to give them more fuel. Yes, you do. And I don't know. I think I might use a cheat code for that. It's nothing really too crazy. It's basically ammo for your... You're going to get like a... One of your gadgets is kind of like a, a stink, stink bomb gun gun see that plant it's like a stinky plant or whatever and like the Grinch has a gadget where he can like load his little gun up with that and shoot out like these stink bombs and stuff like that and so yeah that's 
And it, it, I mean, it serves as other ammo as well, but this, I might use a Tico for that because it kind of gets a little annoying uh, trying to find ammo. They come back, as, like, if, as you just saw. Man, I cannot speak today. Hang on, I'm trying to, hey. Hey! Hey! Knocking out enemies, they drop presents. There's presents all around that you want to squash. As it is one of your uh, jets. I'm actually I'm not, I'm not even gonna. No, I might well go ahead and pick them up. Okay. Now, is there anything else I want to explain? Uh, no, really. I kind of. I know how my channel is. I got like videos. Like I do a lot of series. I do well. I do around like four to five series on my channel at once, and like every day, like four or five videos come out. Um, I really want to put this out around Christmas, but I know it probably ain't gonna. It's probably not gonna come out around Christmas. I don't know when this is gonna come out. Um, I'm, I'll probably have to play some more games and try and push this up to a December release of my videos because I kind of want this to fit the Christmas theme. December theme, I mean. Um, some scoundrels are awkward, clumsy, dumb, and so slow, but the Grinch is more sprightly than your average foe. He can hang on to ledges and swing round a pole, move right and move left to reach his roguish goal. Roguish goal. Okay, that guy over there, he's kind of like a little mini boss. He's got, um, he's got the paint and brush. Now, I need that for one of my little tools. Not for the gadgets, but it's a tool that I need to use to, uh, Paint on the posters. I remember the hardest part of this game for me was like when I was trying to figure out the mechanics of swinging on these poles. Okay. See, that's his thing. He's gonna. Uh oh. Hmm. What? Hang on, I gotta get to the tip. <laughs> to complete all his missions, the Grinch must collect numerous items, each with a special effect. His book contains a record of what he must find to use in the setting for which it was designed. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. I love when you pick something up. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Uh. Yeah, a lot of these presents you're not gonna be able to get, obviously. Yeah, there's police, the police officers there I'll shoot you. It's like, it's not like a real gun. It's like a snow gun or something. I'll show you what it do. <laughs> it turned me into a snowman. I'm supposed to break out of it. That, um, the good thing about this game is it doesn't really stun lock you unless you got like some kind of serious glitch where the police officer is just continuously shooting you because it kind of takes a while for you to get out um, of that and they just continuously do it and that's I don't know this some kind of glitch I've never had that problem before and with the paint brush paint in brush we can do these to the poster these this is the a poster of the mayor of the town the Grinch despised him and the movie is because well, I don't want to spoil it, but I don't think it'd be too much of a spoiler. You see, the Grinch, if you don't know about him, he grew up um, in the town of Whoville. And the reason why he hates it is because uh, he uh, don't... Whoa. Oh, I thought he had like a... I thought he had like a weapon. Come on. Come on. Hey. And the reason why well, 
I don't think it's so much about Christmas. I think it's because but when he was younger, the people in Whoville really didn't treat him all that well because he was different. Uh, and the mayor, the guy on the poster, he grew up with the Grinch too. Like he was like one of his uh, classmates, and he was like a big bully to the Grinch <laughs> when he was younger. <laughs> And also, the Grinch had like a crush on one of the girls, and uh, uh, people made fun of him for liking that girl. And, and and the mayor is like dating, he's like dating that girl that he likes. And so that Grinch, the Grinch, you know, he just kind of hated the Who's. I don't even think it's so much about Christmas. I think it's just because he just hates them. He hates everybody here. <laughs> I like how this game is. This game is supposed to be. It's supposed to be the movie. It's supposed to be the Jim Carrey. It's supposed to like. Supposed to play as the Jim Carrey movie, but. Uh. Well, <laughs> no, but no, but about it. But it's. It's not like a sequel to the movie. It's not like a. a what happened next Christmas kind of movie. No, it's not like that. It's, it's supposed to be based off of the movie. What am I doing? I'm playing my breath on it. I never really played this game while talking. Get back. Now that I gotta talk and play the game, it's like kind of hard for me to focus. But I'm chilling out, you know. Listening to the music. I love like playing this game and forgetting about how to play the game. Cause like, you, I always try to like recreate my first time playing the game and not knowing how things work. Because it's so fun trying to figure out what to do. Sometimes, now I admit, sometimes the puzzles do kind of get a little crazy. And it's like, how do you figure this out? And you have to look it up online. And it'll tell you what you had to do. And you'll be like, oh, come on, really? And so, yeah, it's just some of some of the puzzles are like that because you'll you'll be like you'll never you'll never figure out you'll never be able to man I can't, I, I can't I can't speak you'll never what am I trying to say you'll never you would have never thought of that that's what I'm saying of how to get around these puzzles like what were you supposed to do you'll never think of it and then like when you watch it online or look up how to do it it's just like oh really come on okay how do you oh okay i'm gonna say i knew it was somebody Let's see if i can get up here ba, 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 ba. How many posters do we need to do? I think 10, so five more. These windows, you gotta throw a uh, stink bomb in there. We can't do that right now. We gotta have the gun gadget. The tiptoeing Grinch is a master of stealth. If slyness were riches, he'd own a vast wealth. <laughs> That's another one of the functions that the Grinch can do, which will come in handy. He can sneak. You can do Hey! Ow. Hello. He can do that um, to get past uh, guards, enemies, and other um, obstacles. Another one! I think we need one more snowman. <laughs> These telephone booths are used to uh, disguise yourself, but right now we don't have the costume. That is one of the the uh, tools that we need that we'll be able to find in this game. Well, in this level, I mean, excuse me. Now, this one is kind of hard to do. It's kind of hard to get up here. Not, not because it's hard to get up on that ledge because you have to time it correctly. Mm. That kid is getting on my nerves. I know he's not hitting me. He's missing, but like... I don't like him. 
<laughs> oh, I got it. Soon I say, I, soon I admit that I ain't like him. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, stop. No, I don't. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Okay, okay. Just go back to sleep. I don't woke him up now. There he goes. I had to turn the camera. I'm in here. Ah! <laughs> I like how I woke him up and ran inside. Like he can't just go in there and come get me out. Okay. Here is the uh <laughs> the who outfit. Uh huh. Just like in the movie. Basically, the Grinch will put that on to disguise himself. He needed that disguise in the movie because it's not that he was like banned from coming to Who Will. It's just that no nobody liked it him anymore. Like they just kind of, you know, just I don't know. He was just such an outcast. Oh yeah, that's right. We can't do that. We, we actually can't even come in here right now. We need the gadget. We need the booster gadget. I think it's called booster pack or something. It's supposed to. Give us like a, a charge boost into the air or something like that. Freeze! Freeze! That's why the police, the guards are like very offensive um, when it comes to seeing the Grinch. Uh, what that offensive? What's the word for it? Uh aggressive when dealing with the Grinch in this game. That's why they shoot at us. It's because we're such a despicable person and we because of the, the things we're doing right now. <laughs> mm, ba -da -ba -da. Hey! Oh, I didn't even see him. I wasn't paying attention. See, he doesn't stun lock me. Calm down, I'm not going over there. Just trying to get the blueprint. Relax. Gotcha. I think you can blow your breath on him, but no, I don't think so. Hey! Boy. Woo! <laughs> you saw me try. Ow. It doesn't work on him. Ow. I need to stop because he's finna kill me. Boy. Even though nothing was gonna happen. <laughs> when I die. I still don't want to die. I think... Oh, okay. Like, I didn't even notice that. Destroying presents refill your health cage. Okay. Okay. Uh, we can't go inside. We need to catch it for that, too. Uh, have we been over here? Okay. Let's see if I get this present. There you go. I wanna see if I can sit on this kid. I know that sound right, but I wanna see if I can try. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Stay still now. Gonna get grinched. Okay, stop for real. Another one! Hey, we completed one mission. Yeah, grinch! Nice. Okay. Bum, bum, line up. I wonder how many posters we've done. We can always check using our books. There's usually 10. Yeah, 10. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we need 10 posters. Okay. Everything else is kind of hard to get right now. And then the number right there will also remind you how many of you have done. Ba -da -ba. Hmm. 
got that poster up there. Let me think. Ah, there go another poster. All the posters are going to be outside. I need one more. I think I know where it is. Oh, there it is. Hey. Yeah, great. <laughs> Every time he does like a little dance or something like that. I just love this game. It's got like a little. It's got like a. It's got a charm to it, you know. I want you guys to drink every single time I say I love this game. Including that time. Nah, don't do that. <laughs> don't do it. I said don't do it, so if you do it, I'm not responsible. I did say do it, but I was just playing around. I didn't think you actually do it. Ouch! Ouch! Ah, uh, come on, move. Hey, who are you, Big Daddy? That poor kid, I knocked him at the wall. Let's see. Let's go into the mail. Uh, mail office. How can we? Oh, yeah, we need to disguise. I straight up forgot. If we got on the disguise, people won't care. Just as long as you're not fucking green. <laughs> You know, there was, uh, there was a telephone booth all the way back over there. It was the fastest way to get there. But I came all the way over here because I want you guys to hear the music. <laughs> How do I look? Am I pretty? <laughs> With the disguise, the enemies don't even... Well, not enemies, but they, uh, people don't even come and attack me. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Let's get a good look at him. <laughs> he's got, he's got, like, girl eyes. I never, like, really looked at him. He's got, like, girl eyes. His eyelashes. It might be a woman. Yeah, he might, no, he said phrase. He sounded like a man. Well, maybe, maybe he's... Trance, I guess. I don't know. I'm finna, like, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. All right. I mean, whatever. That's his decision. That's her decision. Okay. They go. That girl. That's a person over there. It's a little girl. Guess who that is? That is. Uh, what was her name? Cindy Lou. The little girl that came and talked to the Grinch, kind of like a, a little friend. She will also come visit him every now and then in the movie. There she is. <laughs> oh, she scares. Can't hurt her. She's just kind of like, you look weird. What are you talking about, little girl? Your face. What about it? It's so plastically or something. Plastically. Is that the right? Is that a word? Plastically? Well, it's a kid, so they make up words plastically. Is that a word? No, I don't think it is. Plastically. It's all plastically like. What are you talking about? My face is fine. Let's see if I can get a good look at his face. Uh. See if I put a camera in the corner. Ah, come here. See his face? It's supposed to be a big old smile. At first, I thought it was like his um. I thought the mask had like fake hair on it to make it look like a mustache. No, it's supposed to be a big grin. Uh, okay, now we're gonna use Max a lot in this. I'll show you what happens if you get if you step into the laser. What are you doing? Well, not laser, but the. Security camera, I think. 
Okay, now all these doors are gonna be locked. What you need to do is use Max. Go, Max! There's like a little air vent or something that Max can go into. Now that door, it was color blue and it was number red. We need to look for blue. I mean, yeah, that's that's more purple. That's yellow. Four. Well, if that's four, then this one's got to be three. If it's close to it. Oh, no, that's okay. Uh, I go back over here. Oh. Nope. Yeah, it's like an air vent. We're in. Where is three? Uh oh. Here's three. You can open the door from the inside. Now, Matt can also destroy presents. Yeah, you can. He's a lot more faster um, than the Grinch, so. Now I can. Did I lock the? Did I lock the door? Yeah, I did. Oh, I think it closes. That. Oh, yeah, it does. All right. Get in here. The only reason we came in here is to shuffle the mill around. I'm good. Sorry, I talked over it a little bit. He said, boy, I'm good. I'm pretty sure he might say it again. If I could just learn to shut my big mouth. Go, Max! You guys would have been able to hear it. presence okay all right Grinch oh he didn't see it hey well you get the hair Cindy little say hey a few more times oh Okay, well, I'm kind of glad I'm back here. Now I can go this way. Max. Go, Max. Where's the purple one at? Just right here. Look at these presents. Presents. <laughs> if you don't know why Cindy Lou's in here, it's because her dad is, uh, he works in the post office. Uh, whoa. Okay. And, um, I think she came here to talk to him about, you know, stuff that's going on in her life. And also, go, Max! Also about, uh, I can't remember what she wanted in the movie. I think she was trying to figure out what to get for Christmas, get, get the Grinch something for Christmas? I can't remember. No, she was doing like some kind of report or something. Yeah, she was doing some kind of recorded diary report or something. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've seen the movie. And she likes to talk to her dad and help him out at work. And that's why she's kind of in here. Uh, I'm opening the door. Is this our last one? Just a minute, dear. I've got to finish this, and I'll be right with you. <laughs> okay, him. <yeah. laughs> Just a minute, dear. Whoa, whoa. My oh, the dust is like a pea. Okay. 
Actually, we can get Max. Go, Max! Max is just a lot more faster. Oh, he can't... He can't break some boxes. Really? I guess if it's too big, he can't break it. Okay. I'll break the ones he can, man. He can also grab this. That's important. We need that. Well, we need all of them, but we need that to complete. Um, I want to say 99% of this level. Ah, thanks for the presence that's in here. Jesus Christ. And the Grinch got to thinking how nice it would be to get some fresh air, watch the Who's try and ski. Okay. That was so weird. It was kind of like a little glitch that just happened. I mean, that was supposed to happen, but the way it transitioned was weird. I don't know. I think we have enough blueprints. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't really tell me. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're missing one more rotten egg launcher. These are all the gadgets that you can get in the game. Tools. Okay. We're missing one blueprint somewhere. I think I know where it is, but I feel like I've been there before already. I can go back and check. Huh. Hey, Max! Go, Come here, boy. Max. Can you go in there? Is there a blueprint in here somewhere? You want to check everywhere because if you miss something, it could be a little. you know, a little. Uh, tough to go back and like try and find everything. I'm trying to see. I hope there wasn't no blueprint in events. I don't think there was. I don't think no. Uh, nah, I don't think there would have been a blueprint in event. I'm not seeing anything. Let's roll. Security's uh, turned off and all the doors open now. Let me see. Oh! Gotcha! Here it is. I guess somebody dropped. Oh no! Cindy Lou had it in her hands and she dropped it at the. Okay. Yeah. Alright, that should be all the blueprints for the egg launcher. Actually, let me check. Cause you, you don't want to go back and forth like that. Um, yeah, okay. We have enough for that. Let's go back and make it, and then we'll probably end the video. What a rush! Okay, now, in order to put the gadgets on together, you have to put the blueprints together. Uh... I actually don't remember how it looks. Something like that? This can go... I think this needs to be rotated. Yeah? Ah! Voila!
The rotten egg launcher's a brilliant invention, as the smell that it brings causes more than just tension. Once an eggshell <laughs> breaks open and vile fumes escape, who eyes glaze over and who mouths can only gape? When the Grinch needs to hassle the who's from afar, he turns to his launcher with a hearty har har. Few things irk him more than who's equipped to resist the days and confusion brought on by rottenness. All right, now that we have the egg launcher. We can uh, shoot targets now. Just like that. I'm probably going to be using a key code to give me like infinite eggplants. It's not really a big deal. Uh, yeah. But guys, that's going to be it for the video. Tune in tomorrow for a brand new episode of The Grinch. Is it called The Grinch? Stole Christmas? No, I think it's just called The Grinch. PlayStation 1. Um. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Most importantly, stay safe out there. Um, and I'll see you guys later. Yeah, all right. I guess you didn't have what it takes.